actually catch it a little bit over. All right, and I'm not intending to do that. It's just if that's what happens and I, I end up blocking over instead of under, I'm going to immediately wrap around the arm. Give a good shot into the shoulder and then clasp my wrist just to keep it sealed. Okay? This lock is going to work on the elbow. Okay? In much the similar way as the other one. But instead of taking him straight down, I'm going to take him up first. Okay? To take him up, I need to push away on the shoulder. Not just pushing like this, but rolling. So I'm going to roll my hand just like this back over the shoulder. And I'm going to push up with my elbow. Once I get okay, him up, I'm going to take my leg right here. This is where I want to drop it. Okay, on the same side as the arm. I'm going to take that foot, step back, use my hips to twist him down. Okay? I want to keep this lock. If I've got a straight arm, then I've got an arm bar. If he bends it, that's fine. I've got a key lock. Okay? From the key lock, and it doesn't take much, so it goes very slow. He throws a punch, I end up high. Circle it, get this arm bar, okay? Roll the shoulder back and up on the elbow, same time. That should get the lock. Go for the takedown, I'm gonna take my lead leg, it's to the same side as the throw, step back, drop to that joint that you're locking, okay? First, I'm getting from here, just this point, I'm locking the elbow. Okay, I'm getting the arm bar. Then I'm using the arm bar to translate it to the shoulder just momentarily. The last lock is going to be this part, this spine. Okay? When Leo's spine is not locked, he's able to bend forward, right? <laughs> See? He's able to come in on it. But once I lock this arm, use the shoulder and roll it back, now his spine is locked. Okay, he can't, he can't, put, he can't bend back and forth towards me. This makes the takedown easy. Okay, when I do the takedown though, I also need to stay relaxed. It's very easy to want to force this. Okay, especially I got my arms out. I don't want to lock my arms. I want his, his joints locked, but I don't want to be locked because if I am, when I go to throw. It ends up being like this. It ends up being more forcing him around and not having a lot of control. I want to use this extension just to get the lock. And then when I go for the takedown, I want to bring everything back to what I said.